My story um, involves, well, three different universities in two countries. Um, so I started in France and then moved to Scotland for my MSc and stayed for my PhD. Um, so I am a PhD student. I am, I'm in my first year of studying. I'm about just over nine months in, so it feels like things are in full swing. Um, I'm at the university that I also did my undergrad in. Um, so I did my undergrad. I then worked as a research assistant. I took a little bit of time out um, to go out into practice. Um, I'm a nurse, so I went out for a year and a half and then I returned um, as a PhD student. is that the French system is very much based on exams. Um, I had barely written any essays when I arrived here. My essay skills were the ones that I had gained in high school. So that was kind of like a big change too. Um, and another one was critical thinking. We were very much pushed and kind of um, moved forward to learn about the changes in the discipline and um, the new additions of different types of kind of the different perspectives. Whilst previously I was pushed to just stick to one perspective and actually see that as the truth and the only truth, whilst it was kind of making the change into being like nothing is true for good, things can change and that's part of the beauty of it I guess. Doing a um, PhD is vastly different from doing an undergrad. Um, I guess as in the undergrad course you um, get a lot of support um, and a lot of encouragement from your lecturers. They're there to remind you when things are due and things need done and you're in regular contact with them as well. So I was in um, Monday to Friday on my undergrad course for lecturers and um, when we weren't on placements, so when we were at university. Um, and then you come to do a PhD and you have a support system but it just looks different, it looks very different and you're given ownership over your studies um, and that's something that you do develop in your undergrad over the four years you start to own and take responsibility for your work. 